Okay, so what you're looking at right now is my desktop on my Mac, and here's my desktop on the PC. The, the background is exactly the same, but the applications that I use between the two are very different. The PC version, you can get these gadgets that's part of Windows 7, and you would go to the Start menu, and you would type in Gadgets, and you would see the Gadget Gallery pop up, click on it, and add the gadgets that you would like to this section right here. I like to have my analog clock. I love to be able to see the weather, and I like my calendar, and this calendar also expands so that you can look at the month and I generally keep it expanded. The Sticky Note application for the PC is called Stickies and you can download this if you Google Stickies you can download this for free and the reason I like this Sticky Note application rather than the one that comes with Windows is because it, it does a whole lot more than the one that comes with Windows. Uh, first off you can roll them up I like being able to roll them up. You just double click them to unroll them. Also, you can set alarms for them. You can also customize the colors, and I color code just about everything so that at a glance, when I look at colors, I pretty much know what's going on just by seeing the color rather than having to in read um, any further. Um, one of the things about the Sticky Note app on the Windows is that when you roll it up, it doesn't keep its color whereas the Mac version, it keeps its color when you roll them up. Um, the application for the Mac Sticky Note is called Sketchbox, and that's also a free download. So if you Google Sketchbox, you can, down, you can just download that from the internet. If you're enrolled in my paperless class, then you will find the applications ready to, to install on your computer. The downloads are already in your shared folders that I shared with you. Now on the Mac, of course, the gadgets on the Mac, I purchased the, uh, it's called Deep Clock, and you can customize, you can do some customization for your calendar and for your clock. The one thing about the calendar on this application is that it doesn't expand but I do have a calendar up here on my bar that does let me expand the month. So that's that's kind of handy. So there's a little little differences between the two, but the background's the same whether you're on a Mac or a PC. It's just different different interactive applications that you use over the background. Um, the the background is basically when you and you'll find this in your folder also in your shared class folder the background is basically just an image and it's sectioned off and you've got a a section for your stuff you've got a section for your to be filed files you have a section to keep your friends list or your buddy list whatever you, whatever application you use to chat with your contacts and then of course there's a place for your notes, your gadgets, your job list and the job list coincides with the weeks of the months. You have four months at a glance so you can book yourself four months ahead and then you can narrow it down to just your weekly tasks. So let's look now at it actually with the sticky notes and with the gadgets. So like I said you've got a place here for your stuff a place here for your friends and the section for the to be filed is very small so that you don't let things build up on your desktop. I encourage you to keep your desktop nice and clean. Basically all you should have on your desktop is in your stuff area, stuff that you keep on your desktop for a longer period of time and then you've got your notes, your job lists and then of course like I said the narrowed down version of your weekly tasks that you have coming up. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, this is the PC version. Let me just show you something with the, or, or that was the Mac version. Let me just show you real quick a couple things with the PC version. With the PC version, 
you'll want to hide your taskbar and I like to keep my taskbar on the right and the reason I like to keep it on the right is because I keep a docker down on the bottom and this docker it works much like the docker on the Mac and this is something you'll also find in our shared folder if you're enrolled in my class and this is called rocket doc if you're not enrolled in the class you can google it and download it from the internet and so that's why I kind of, I keep my taskbar on the right to hide your taskbar you'll just simply right click on it and you'll go to properties and you'll check this box that says auto hide and if you want to keep your taskbar on the right of course you'll pull down this menu here and you'll tell Windows where you would like to keep it and I like to keep it on the right you'll click apply and OK and so the taskbar is hidden and when you just get your mouse just close enough to the edge it comes out okay so and the other thing that I wanted to show you is the sticky notes for the Windows application is you you can tear off from the list and I really like that feature I can't do it with the Mac version and when you hold down your control key and that's why I keep a master task list here on my desktop on the PC only on the PC because if I hold down my control key I can click and drag off or tear off just like you would a real sticky note from a pad onto the area of your desktop that you're going to want to put it. So I would drag this off and put it on the day that I would like to be reminded of something specific. Sometimes I have bills that are not reoccurring, something that needs to be paid on a certain day. And what I'll do is I'll unroll it. I'll give it a description here in the sticky note. I can also right click on the title bar and change the title. And then here's where you can set an alarm. You can set an alarm for minutes, hours, days, specific date, however you would like to do that. And when it goes off, it will jiggle and it will sound. I encourage you if you download this app or install this app that you go through the settings of the application and you can do that just by right clicking on the sticky note in your taskbar and going to options. There are a lot of features in this sticky note application and I've been using it for a long time and I absolutely love it. Something else you'll want to do is back up your sticky notes. If you keep a backup, if something ever happens, you can, you can just go to the backup and reload all your notes that you have saved on your desktop. Well, that's about it for the interactive desktop, whether you're on a PC or a Mac, it will work for you. Till the next video, bye.